Hello friends, uh, learned viewers, respectable ladies and gentlemen. As you know, in the recent events, tensions between Israel and Iran have reached at a critical point, with airstrikes and retaliatory attacks escalating the situation. Today in this video, we will delve into the complexities of this conflict and explore the potential path towards peace. As you know, when Israel sanctioned the recent airstrikes at the consulate of uh, Iran in Damascus, it marked a significant escalation. Such actions violating the sanctity of diplomatic missions raise concerns about international law and regional stability. Israel's history of targeted actions against Iranian officials and scientists adds weight to these concerns. This consistent pattern aims at asserting military dominance in the region. In response, Iran launched an attack from, the, from its territory, sending a strong message. The Iranian foreign minister described the attack as limited fun, emphasizing Tehran's capability and intent for the escalation. Dear friends, fortunately, due to the US military presence uh, and Israel's defense capabilities, most of the launched drones and missiles were intercepted. This uh, display of military might from both the sides raises alarms across the Arab world. The implications of an escalated conflict are not just uh, regional but global. The involvement of major global powers uh, like the US, Russia and China could turn this into a global confrontation. So now what is the way forward? The international community represented by the United Nations Security Council needs to step in. At the heart of the instability in the region lies the unresolved Palestinian question. A comprehensive ceasefire, including all parties and non-state actors, is crucial. The resolution should uh, pave the way uh, for Palestinian statehood and an end to the occupation in the Arab territories. As tensions persist between Israel and Iran, the call for peace becomes more urgent now. Uh, a region-wide ceasefire is not just a necessity, but a moral imperative. Let's hope that uh, diplomacy and dialogue will prevail over the conflict and confrontation. If you have any opinion in this regard, inform me in the comment box. And uh, it is also requested to please uh, like and share this video and also subscribe my channel for more insightful analysis on the global events. Thank you very much.